Hi, Harry here for PC Gamer, and I'm coming armed with a beginner's guide to the new 4x kid on the block, Old World. If you fancy ruling a kingdom for 200 years instead of going back to Civ once again, you're in the right place. Old World adds plenty of spokes to the 4x chariot wheel, but that means there are a few fresh concepts you'll need to get your head around if you want to seal your place in history as a victorious ruler. Here's what you need to know to establish an epic legacy. It's unbecoming for a kingdom circa 600 BC not to adopt a religion. Early in the game, each kingdom has its own flavour of paganism which gets founded upon building your first shrine. The only way to spread paganism to other cities is by building a shrine next to a city. Even if you're not committed to developing a religion, shrines are a great way to increase culture, science and other key resources. You can only build one of each shrine at first. Try building one per city so each city reaps the benefits or focus on improving a single city with multiple shrines. A common religion is a great way to improve relations in your court and with other kingdoms. You'll also get bonuses to culture, happiness and access to unique buildings and wonders. You can legitimise your pagan faith as your state religion once you research citizenship, which lets you pass the divine rule law. The thing is, pagan religions don't get the same number of improvements, nor the ability to spread with disciples, like more powerful world religions. The four world religions have different prerequisites, with two appearing earlier in the game and two later. Here are the requirements for founding each religion in the general order they appear. Don't worry if you missed the boat on founding Zoroastrianism and Judaism early on, you can still found Christianity and Manichaeism later. Orders is a new system which dictates the number of actions you can carry out per turn. Whether you're moving units, besieging cities or brown nosing your powerful neighbours, everything uses them. Orders affect all your actions, making them one of the most important resources in the game. No matter your strategy, increasing your order count should be a high priority. It increases by 0.1 with each citizen in your kingdom, but also when you boost your legitimacy, which is achieved by fulfilling the ambitions of your leader, and to fulfil 10 of these to win the game, making certain decisions in diplomatic and personal events, earning higher cognomens, and building wonders. 4x games tend to punish mistakes. A wayfaring scout wandering near a rival's territory could lead to a centuries-long feud, while the effects of changing laws often aren't clear until you actually do it. Old World takes a much more relaxed approach, letting you undo or redo orders in a single turn as much as you like. Newcomers should exploit this as much as possible. Not only is it a good way of undoing mistakes or testing the waters for war, but you can use it to scout out what's beyond the fog of war in one direction before undoing it and then going off elsewhere. Old World city improvements rely heavily on adjacency bonuses. That means you need to be meticulous with your town planning. Resource harvesting improvements like farms, pastures, quarries and mines get small yield bonuses when placed next to each other. Stack these bonuses by placing, for example, granaries next to clusters of farms, which will generate further food and growth based on any farms they're near. Shrines are another great source of adjacency bonuses in the early game. Cities in Old World can only be built on dedicated city sites. It's nice and simple, but it also means city building spaces at a premium. Before starting production to build settlers for these sites, reserve them by stationing your military units there. Do this quickly though, because the AI is very aware of this sneaky strategy and will seek to do the same. Once your unit is on that city site, enemies would need to declare war to oust you from it, which they're rarely willing to do. You can also build cities on any of the tiles surrounding a city site that have the small hut-like buildings around them, giving you some wiggle room about city placement and which resources in the vicinity you want to gather. With this knowledge, you're ready to take your place at the helm of one of the ancient world's greatest families. Be bold, be patient, and be prepared to click that undo button a lot. You should also click the like button, and subscribe if you found this video useful and would like to see more like it. For more on Old World, 4X Games, and world domination, check out PCGamer.com.